What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we actually ended up kind of running across an interesting situation with our weapons guy that he said he can't really give us anything else. And you also notice the base has changed dramatically. Um, I've actually been really enjoying the, the whole building mechanic now for the um, since the foundation update I've really enjoyed it it's kind of turned into like a pseudo minecraft for me of trying to gather materials and expand the bases and all that kind of stuff I love the cuboid rooms this is really cool and it definitely changes things from the typical like um, as some people pointed out radiation subnautica style so as of right now we have our main entry point here uh, with our teleporter and all that and then we go up now I have encountered this bug a couple of times where like when you first load in the game it doesn't seem to uh, let you through here and you have to open the building mechanic and act like you're trying to attach something in here and then it opens up it's a really kind of strange thing um, I even put this desk here thinking well maybe it was because it was an empty room so it wasn't seeing there any seeing anything in there so I didn't know what to do with it but no that's not really what's going on um, so I've made some more storage cuz storage um, <laughs> I mean it's storage why would not I want more so I'm kinda trying to keep track of some things and store certain things while other things I'm not really sure if I should keep them or not like plutonium I'm trying to keep more on hand of because they've switched around how you use some of the stuff um, the trophium I was keeping because I don't really know what to do with it other than sell it iron I've used most of my iron in building uh, we got some thomium and carbon as well as nickel actually is that is pugnium in both it is okay so I should switch this because there's no reason for that to be taking up space then and then this guy we got some emeralds some more of the antrium fervidium lemium and um, three viking daggers I was keeping a couple of those on hand because I didn't know what we were gonna run into for quests um, you know what let's go ahead and Put some mordite in there and I've also got condensium and spadonium and mordite in my inventory um, so as far as the layout what I basically did was we go through this way and we go through this way and then we get a branching path so we branch over here if we want to go to our weapons guy but he's still saying he doesn't have anything for us now I don't know one interesting thing I've debated about and I haven't really found an answer on reddits or walkthroughs or Google or anything is I don't know if I hire a new one like if I find another Viking in a space station and he's like hey I'm looking you know do you want a weapons person I don't know if I hire a new one if it'll give me more things or not that's something that I'm not sure about um, down this way we go to our science lab guy so he's got his own room now um, and then down in the center we have our construction guy so I haven't been able to find any sack venom which is what the uh, scientist wants for the rest of his quest at the moment but I did however oh I have it on me like a dummy okay I did however find a geck charm so we're gonna give that to our construction guy and see what he can do with it Gek were fine farmers, blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, so this is probably gonna open agriculture, I'm guessing. So here's the Gek charm. Excellent, this blueprint is tailored, a tailor made for a farmer. Have you given any thought to something or other? A research station tailored to the needs of farmers and equipped for the analysis and cultivation of farmable crops. Interesting. So, specialist terminal. All right. Now, can I rotate this at all? No, it's not rotating. Oh, there it goes. It's snapping. I just don't have any iron on me anyway. Let's see if I've got some in my inventory. I think I have 80 or something left. Oh, 
was it chest two and one thing i did find i did yeah we have just exactly like 53 which is awesome i didn't know this somebody pointed this out in the comments um it's really awesome though the reason that in your containers you have zero through nine and they're specific and you can't build like another zero even if you have the materials is because they're actually instanced inventories and what i mean by that is for example let's say two here has trophium neutronium modules and pugnium right so if i delete this it's gone no more storage unit everyone's freaking out but you'll notice that because i have the materials two is now an option again so if i rotate this around the right way and i place two now you'll notice the color and everything's different so it's totally replaced but the inventory maintains so a couple of people were suggesting to me that if i decide to move my base ever to essentially rather than doing the cache which only gives you a part of your inventory kind of break everything but your storage modules down dump everything in there then break the storage modules and then when you get to your new planet build off you know start with your storage modules and that will basically give you the inventory to recreate your base and i thought how cool is that i thought that was awesome oh what am i doing he doesn't he doesn't need anything from me i need to build the terminal um terminal there we go all right so for now we're just gonna place that there i should have read that there we go requires a skilled farmer for operations you can recruit farmers in space stations within get controlled systems okay interesting now i have been building like my own uh structure kind of thing. not structure but um what you call it like a, a room for each person but as you can see with the cuboid room you can actually put them in a different one if you so desire I was giving them different rooms just kind of for reasons, not really for anything particular other than to just spread the base out and make it a little more interesting and whatnot. I also haven't gotten really into decorations yet. Um, I've had a few things that I've placed around, but you could do a lot. And I hope to do a lot at some point. Like um, now that I have a room here, the rooms are kind of expensive. They're like 100 iron per room, which can add up to be quite a bit. Um, whereas, like you can see, the decorations are 20 or, you know, 10 in zinc or 20 in zinc, whatever. Um, whereas rooms can be quite expensive. So, my hope is by hopefully the end of this episode, we'll have an agricultural guy and a room for him or her, whatever, it, because they're alien, who knows. Um, and then probably use some of our resources rather than building rooms to maybe start decorating the rooms a little bit. That's kind of my hope. And I'm wondering, actually, what would happen if I were to put structural, let's put a T here, going that way. Now, what happens if I go this way? Okay, so I have free room to build out that way. We'll just have to go forward and then maybe to the left rather than to the right, lest we run into the other tube there. But that could work. Like, there's the tube. Or, another way we could do this is... How close does that go? We could run it like this. And then maybe make a turn or something out that way. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I like that. Let's go with that. And then that will lead to, we could make that our construction guy since he'll be a little bit closer, like we might want a little bit closer access to him, and then leave that the agriculture room. Um, another point, if you didn't already know, you can delete the station and the NPC and everything sticks with it. So you can move them around freely as well. So that's a fun fact. So I'm going to go look for a get controlled station and see what we find. Also, I want to point out um if you access this it remembers the last two that you've been to so unfortunately i don't think mine is here anymore because i think this was a different station and then this was i think the last one i visited so i don't think i have my homeworld station anymore but whatever 
So I'm going to start here and then maybe jump around and see if I can find one if I don't already have one in this area. Okay, so we're kind of in luck here. Um, if this is to be believed, I believe we are in Gex space, which I think was what they said for, um, for the agricultural guy. I'm not sure. See if we can help them. That's part of why I said by being in luck was because uh, we dropped right in and they were under attack. And this ship looks cool. I mean, it looks like an actual ship kind of thing, right? You know, like a like a battle cruiser kind of thing. Though there is one, if I buy a freighter, well, more when than if. Um, when I buy a freighter though, there's, I've seen it in screenshots and things. I haven't actually found one. That was close. Um, I haven't actually found one, but um, it looks like a Star Destroyer from the uh, like prequel era, almost. Like the rebels or clone wars kind of thing looks awesome and i was like oh if i can if i can get one of those i'll be happy i'll, I'll have my own star destroyer which would be awesome 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 um actually i am kind of curious though as to this one looks like a really big freighter so i'm actually wondering how um how expensive this one would actually be All right. Thank you, friend. You have my appreciation. Can I offer you a reward? You most certainly can. I mean, there really isn't like a karma system or anything, so why would I refuse? Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, I want to see what his ship would cost. Hey, you bubba. Seven million. That's not terrible. But yeah, this one looks kind of cool. I like it. I do like the Star Destroyer ones the best, though. That's, that's I mean, given. Um, so, anyways, that was kind of fun. We actually succeeded and didn't die. It's always a good day. So, let's head over to the space station and see if we can't pick ourselves up an agriculturalist. I'm pretty sure... They said to look in Gex space, so I think we'll I think we'll find him. I hope, maybe. All right, so it seems we found one. No one will serve your farming needs better than I. I assure you. Do you have a planetary base? Provide a terminal for me there, and my services are yours. So yes, let's hire him. Sound decision. I will gather my belongings and meet you on your land. So. I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Basically. Oh, he's got some bug eyes. Specialist in construction. No, nope, we don't really need that. I was looking for who runs the station. There we go. Friend, sales geck, multi tool, something. The trader looks weak but somehow cunning. It spins its data pad towards me and I can see its. Multi, it's a multi-tool sales creature. Ah, okay. The prices of its technology blueprints are, however, eye-watering. It eyes me with a wary interest, waiting to see if I'll bite. Pay requested amount, pressure life form into accepting less. Ten. Ten units from a thousand units. I don't really care about a thousand units. <laughs> Provides a blueprint and emits an amazing scent. That was not worth a thousand blueprint or a thousand units, but whatever. What are you gonna do? All right, so let's uh, use our little teleporter pad here and warp back to our base, and then see what our agriculturalist, who I'll probably have to assign a nickname because there's really no way I'm ever gonna pronounce his name right. Um, let's see what he ends up doing for us. Okay, so. 
now that we're back at the base, let's see what he's got for us. He should be in the same room over here with our constructor. There he is! Vukopiebor. Yeah, no, that's never gonna... it's never gonna work. Um... Planty Pie. I don't know. Plant. Because he's got pie in his name. So. A freshly so a fresh supply of sac venom is vital for many formulae. And with the toxins boiled out, it can add a real kick to your cooking, too. Remember to sow the bloodsbane indoors to ensure a successful crop. You'll need these hydroponic trays to plant inside. Shall we get this farm started? Cool. So this could serve two purposes. The new recruit seems all acquainted with the agricultural termain termain you mean terminal i don't know as they begin the device to life as they bring the device to life my senses are flooded with a strange scent and i find myself infected by my new assistant's zeal they are eager to begin farming the land and have brought seeds ready to sow our first crop will be bloodsbane useful for the sac venom it produces additionally we will need a hydroponics tray to plant them. Sure. I'm not the only one with the with green fingers, eh? The fruits of your labor will soon swell our something or other. I didn't read it all. Alright, so we need more iron. Um, let's see. Where is that listed, though? Farming. Okay, so it has its own thing. Bloodsbane. Available to build. 100 thomium and 100 antrium. Grows indoors in hydroponic. Okay. Small, innocuous looking plant whose leaves periodically secrete a small amount of potent sac venom. A valuable trade commodity suitable for hydroponic indoor planting. Cannot be planted outdoors. Interesting. Okay. And then this requires... It's not very expensive. Zinc and iron... I don't think I have any iron left, so let's... I'm stuck in a wall. So let's go outside real quick, because I have the zinc. Though... Thaumium and Antrium... I think I have the Thaumium. Yeah, I have 900 Thaumium. I'm not worried about that. Antrium, however... I don't think I have a ton of... If I can find it... Seriously, where are going to put it? It's always the last place you look. Yep, 17. Alright, so we're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. Uh, we don't need all this, though. We're going to put all that back. And we'll leave that for now. Alright, so let me go gather some stuffs see what I can find around here. I know I can find an Antrium and Iron around here somewhere. Um, so let's see if I can get some of that going, and then I will come back and we'll see how this works. Okay, so I didn't end up doing too, too bad. We got 176 Antrium. I meant to get 200, but I just didn't really want to mine too much more. Um, and I got almost 500 Iron, or actually a little over 500 Iron. So we should be able... Why can't I place that? Starship inside... What? Starship inside my sh base? How does that work? Oh, you know what? This happens sometimes. I didn't realize it was... That's what was going on. So when you weren't back from your... Um... Using the terminal thing, like when you warp back from a space station, it tends to do this, where it puts your ship like in... oops. It puts your ship like in your base, which is really kind of weird. And uh, as you can see, kind of um, counterintuitive. Actually, I'm wondering if instead of going further off the back, maybe I should go off the front and come out this way with another room. Maybe I'll do that. Let's try that out. Or I could go this way. Hmm. 
That's not a bad idea. That would give, us, give me a little bit more room. Let's see, I could do that too. So many options, so many choices. Let's do... Let's do this one. And then maybe we'll do this too. Now from here, we're just gonna do a four, I think. That should do. And that should leave us with... 98 iron. We can fix that relatively quickly. Luckily, we have a pretty good world. Um, for building because there's all these iron deposits. I don't know if every planet is like that or not, but I mean that right there just got us 50. So I mean, you can really easily get a lot of iron this way. You can also get it from space now too, if you want to. Um, so you know, there's that. So let's see, what was the other... Is it under decoration? I think it's under cube room. Yeah, there it is. So I like doing these too. I feel like it gives it a sense of like, it's being held up by something. Kind of thing. So we'll do that for now. I'll put... I, I'll probably end up going to put more as we go. But for now, I think that'll work. Okay. So, now, farming. Let's just do... I want to keep... Hmm, I want to keep kind of that direction open for expansion. So let's do like this, maybe. We'll do one... Let's do two for now. We'll just do two. And I can place one. I don't think I have enough antrium for another. So there's that. I don't know how long that takes to grow, though. That uh, that could be a while. I should probably look that up and see how long that actually takes to grow. Um, now, can I talk to him again? Uh, let's fix this as well. I wonder if I can talk to him again. Like, did that count as the thing or not? Incoming storm. Let's see what he says. Do you say anything new now? Or do I have to get sack venom from it for it to... The venom sacks in blood Bloodsbane will click, quickly burn through your gloves and into your veins. Building a hazmat gauntlet if you want to handle... Oh, build a hazmat gauntlet if you want to handle hazardous plants without harm. The design is well within the ability of any specialist armor. Yeah, we did that. A wise decision. Here, try this gra Gravitino orb crop when you have time. A medium size. I need antrium for that too. A medium size farmable crystal orb that yields an occasional harvest of the highly tradable commodity gravitino balls. Wow, so I can grow those! Well, now that's interesting. Is he gonna give me the same thing now? My scans reveal the remnants of an ancient settlement where albumen petals were once grown. Visit the ruins to see if some seed fragments remain. My farmer has an idea that could make us rich. They have suggested that we grow a crop of albumen pearl orbs and are already planning to spend the units we'd make on new equipment. It amuses me that farming the humblest of pursuits can sometime, can still sometimes yield the greatest rewards. Oh wow, he is way too excited about that. He's like, hee 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 hee. Alright, now I'm hoping that's on this planet. If that's the case, we might go looking for that. Alright, so what do I have on me at this point? I got a lot of junk, so let me clear out my inventory a bit and then we'll come back and probably look for that thing. Okay, so inventory is clear. Let's go check out... How far away is this? Not very far at all. Let's go ahead and check out this place and see if we can't find some apparently lucrative seeds to grow. So that'll be kind of fun. And I probably should go through and sell a bunch of my stuff. Like, I have, like, six neutrino modules and stuff from killing sentinels and things. 
So I probably should go back at some point and sell a lot of that in the trophinium or trophium or whatever that I keep collecting from blowing up pirates, since I'm pretty sure all it's really useful for is selling. I think. Also, though, I'm trying to get... I was working towards something, and I can't find aluminum. I need aluminum badly. And I can't ever seem to find any of it. Oh, it was one of the upgrades for my for my multi-tool or something. And I can't find hardly any of them anywhere. Even on planets that say they're multi-tool, or not mul they're aluminum-based stuff. Okay, we got Viking for body. The Audus out out do semi fragment a warm light seeps from the ruin bathing me in thoughts that are not my own a powerful energy emanates from the ancient ruins as i approach the air seems to crackle as ancient knowledge spills from the stone flooding my mind like a long forgotten memory i'm guessing that's the knowledge of the something petals increases instantly and effortlessly new recipe a medium-sized farmable crystal orb that yields an occasional harvest of valuable albumin petals. Rigagen? 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 Albumin pearl. Thaumium. Gather elements, craft products in... Okay, so this is something that's kind of interesting I've run into a couple of times. It tells me I can make stuff, but then I don't have what I need to make stuff. Um, I might have to be in my exosuit for this, I'm not sure. And what I mean by that... Okay, actually, I don't... That's gotta be a buildable recipe, then. But, like, it mentions the pearls. Well, I can't craft pearls. I don't see that recipe anywhere. The other one is glass. It tells me... Um, here, I'll give you an example. Not that we can build out here, but... Oh, all we have is tech. Okay. Anyways, it'll say, like... It's just iron and glass for windows. I don't know how to make glass. I don't have that recipe anywhere. Whenever I go to make stuff, I see no recipe for glass. So, now granted, I haven't really looked it up to see, hey, how do I make this stuff? But at the same time, you know, that's one thing that's kind of hindered my overall glass making ideas of, like, kind of like a Subnautica, where it's like, I want to build my whole base out of glass. Well, I don't even know how to make glass, so that's not going to work very well. Uh-oh. Sentinel's not happy. Let's just get rid of that one right off the bat. Where's the other guy? There you are. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed again. Screw it, I'll just shoot you down. All right. Because, see, these guys drop now Pugnium and typically Neutrino modules. I end up getting a lot of them from those. Where'd the other guy go? Shot him. He blew up. There should have been a module somewhere. Oh my, that's a huge plutonium crystal. Give me that. Yeah. Take that. Where did it go? Seriously. I blew him up. Stuff happened. Still haven't, I don't think, scanned everything on this planet yet. It's driving me nuts. It's been my home world for a while now, and I can't claim everything yet. I have no idea where that other module went. Darn it. There's one there. Did it roll backwards? Did it roll down here? I think I blew it up over this. Oh, it was over here. Okay. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. See? Neutrino module. And they're going for 13,000 per unit. So I've got like six of these I need to sell. I could probably sell some of these too. That's not bad. None of these are too too like invaluable. I mean, or, no, that's the wrong. Unvaluable? Is that a word? I don't know. Anyways, I think we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode. So, I said we were ending the episode, but I decided not to because I totally forgot to even talk to our construction guy now that we finished the agricultural thing. Duh. I should have done that a while ago.
Mordite crystals form in the decomposing bodies of dead creatures. I don't know why you look so revolted. Your species are meat eaters, are you not? Mordite. I'm pretty sure I have. What does he want Mordite with, though? Or want with the Mordite? Not really sure. Yeah, I was on my way back thinking, okay, I'm done with the episode. Let's get back and save it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't have 20, 20 or 50 yet. So we are going to wrap things up here, but still, I couldn't believe that. I was like, uh, I didn't even bring up like what the construction guy's goal is next so yeah we're gonna do that let's actually check on our blood's bane real quick and see if that's grown at all it doesn't seem to have appeared to so i don't know how quickly this grows but anyways we're gonna wrap things up here now i hope y'all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i'll see you all next time peace